Uh, how are you living these days on quarantine? Well, you know, I've got a home and I've got some food and I've got a family and we're all healthy. So I'm incredibly privileged and blessed. And uh, we try and give something back where we can and how we can and do stuff in the community. But uh, like everybody else, uh, it, these are dark days and I'm scared. Let's talk about uh, your character, your uh, villain, uh, Dick Dastarly. Uh, could you tell us a, a little bit about uh, your character? Um, yeah, he's a egomaniac. He's a narcissist. He's a genius. Uh, he thinks that he's greedy and all he wants to do is get rich and, uh, and control everything in the world and the future and the past and above and below the heavens and accumulate all the wealth in the world. But guess what? That's not what he really wants. That's not what he really needs. Um, but also, I grew up watching him. I grew up watching Dick Dastardly and Muttley. When I was a kid, I, I watched the, He was part of Wacky Races, which is this fabulous cartoon series, a bunch of people in a race. And I always loved him. Uh, and I also watched Scooby-Doo when I was set, because on Saturday morning when I was a kid, they put all the children's cartoons and we were glued to the sofa, a whole generation. Mm. And the idea that I would get to be Dick Dastardly in a Scooby-Doo movie 7,000 years later is still mind-blowing to me, and it's over. Mm -hmm. And what is the most difficult part of giving your voice to Dick? Well, um, it's a funny question. What's the most difficult part? Nothing's difficult. No. <laughs> I'm not a nurse or a doctor or, you know, I'm not doing anything challenging in the world. I get to put on funny voices. Sometimes I get to put on funny costumes as well, but I went into a booth with our brilliant writer-director and I tried to make him laugh. That's all I did. Sometimes I try and make people cry or make people angry or scared. This was about making somebody laugh. Mm -hmm. um, and then I watched the film the other day uh, with my kids and you know, it's a it's time out from this crazy world. There's a couple of hours during mm -hmm. which you can laugh and you can cry actually. And, uh, and you can just have escapist sheer joy and fantasy. And that's, that's yeah. what I did. I went to a room and had a really good time, like a five-year-old. Uh, and the last question these days, everything is changing, even the, pre the premiere of the movies uh, like this. Yes. Uh, what do you think about this? That there's no point wishing uh, like Canute that the waves will go backwards in the sea. I think we have to roll with it and find our moments of pleasure and joy and honesty and love and remember to be as generous as we can. You know, I think kindness will get us through this. Uh, mm -hmm. And if we all pull the drawbridges up and, and lock our front doors and look after just ourselves and the people we know, uh, that way uh, that way madness lies. So I think there is actually a premiere this yeah. Friday night, you know, Scoob movie, hashtag Scoob movie night on Twitter. There's a half hour pre-show and then there's a whole bunch of stuff going on when the movie's on and, um, mm. uh, you know, we'll, I'm going to be there and uh, we'll make it as much fun as we can because this might be the new normal for a long time to come. Thank you so much for the interview. Thank you so much. Gracias a ti también. Gracias, muchas gracias. Bye.